Thank you for watching this video, in this video, we will see, how to install HDP, on a single node. You can use this type of implementation, for your learning and development purpose. Let's get started. The version of software, which I am using here is, Operating System, CentOS 7.4, Ambari version 2.7.0.0, and, Hortonworks Data Platform 3.0.0. We have to do, some prerequisites, before starting installation. We will do those things, one by one. Change the, run level, into multi-user text mode. Change the host name. You can use the command, hostname ctl, to set the host name. Now, turn off the firewall service, using system ctl command. You can ignore this as firewall service is not installed here. Change VM swappiness value to 10 by adding this into sysctl.config file. Open SC Linux config file, then change SC Linux to disabled state. After making these changes, save the file and continue. Install NTP packages, using yum install command. Turn on the service, using system ctl command. So whenever your system reboots, your service will be up and running. Let's start, ntpd service, using system ctl command. Disable transparent huge page, by adding these lines into, rc.local file. I will be adding these in the description, as well as in on github repository. Collect the host name and IP address. Open etc hosts file and update those values. If you are using separate DNS, you can skip this part. That's it, we have completed the prerequisite configuration. Now, we will be doing Ambari server and agent installation. We need wget command to download. Ambari repository file. Use yum install command to install it. Go to the Hortonworks documentation website and collect Ambari repo file location. Now, download Ambari repo file using wget command. You can use cat command to see the contents inside this file. You can see these URLs are pointing to Hortonworks. Please make sure, you have proper internet connection to download these packages. Move this file into yum repository location. That is, slash etc slash yum.repos.d directory, where operating system stores all repository files. Install, Ambari server, and agent packages, using yum install command. This installation may take some time, based on your internet bandwidth. That's it, we have completed Ambari server, and agent installation. Now, set up Ambari server. This will do installation of JDK, setting up Ambari database, creating tables etc. Check whether Ambari server is up and running. The Ambari server is not running now. Start the Ambari server, using system ctl command. Check, whether Ambari server is, up and running. Edit, the Ambari agent configuration file, and update, Ambari server name inside this file. Now, we can start the Ambari agent service. Now, we will continue the installation, using Ambari. Let's log in to the Ambari console, using admin credentials. Click this, launch install wizard, to start the installation.
you can type your cluster name here. Select HDP version that you are going to install. You cannot see older version of HDP here. I am choosing 3.0.0. Leave the repository options as default, and then continue installation. Add the host name, where we are going to do the installation. For host registration, select the manual registration approach. Click register and confirm to continue. You can ignore this warning pop up. Click OK and the continue. This registration process may take some time. Once it is completed, click next button to continue. Select the ecosystem components that you want to add to your cluster. I am selecting only minimal components now. We can add these services later as well. At this state, we have to distribute our master components to various servers. I have nothing to do here since I have only one server available. Now distribute the worker components to various servers. Here also, I don't have much options, since we have only one server available. Next step is customize services. Set, Grafana, and, Activity Explorer admin password here. We can customize, directory for various services from here. Click next, and then continue. This page shows the service account that Ambari is creating as part of installation. Click Next and continue with default values. This page shows configuration of all services that we added. We can do customization here as well. I am choosing default values and continuing installation. This installation process normally takes some time. That's it, we have completed the installation. Click next, and then click complete button. Now you can see Ambari dashboard. Once again, thank you for watching this video, hope you enjoyed the learning. Give me a like, and positive comment, if you like this video. Subscribe this channel, to get more updates.